Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, it will actually be like two days of just you and me because Connor is actually on his way to the Grand Tetons in Wyoming and it's about a seven and a half hour drive. So he'll be spending the night there tonight and then he'll be back tomorrow. We are just gonna be doing whatever, I guess. I thought that I would start off this video actually with a like what I read recently sort of thing. I was actually gonna do like a separate video for this, but I'm too lazy for that. So I'm just gonna add it to the entire vlog, I guess. Don't know if I wanna go through all the books really, but I'm just gonna do like a brief like overview slash like what I thought of each book. So the first one I wanna do is my most recent one is called Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. And it's basically about a Korean family four generations of this one family and it spans from the early 1900s to the late 1900s. It has a lot of themes of sacrifice and love, like what parents will do for their children in order for them to have a better life. And the main character is Sunja, is her name. And I was just proud of her, like with her growth throughout all the years. Basically about her family and then her succession, I guess, like her children, their children. I don't usually read books like this, but I've seen it around everywhere. I had a friend who recently read it and said it was pretty good so I would really highly recommend this book. I gave it a five star rating obviously. The next book I have is called The Beautiful Ones. Um, I gave this book a four star rating. Okay so let me like give the rundown real quick but it's about this one girl who has telekinesis power so she can like move stuff with her mind that sort of thing and she kind of just falls for this one guy who has the same exact power. Basically the guy is interested in somebody else. So this entire book is kind of like a weird love triangle. My only issue with this book was that the main character, she is supposed to be I think 19 years old going on 20, but the way that she was written made her seem like she was like 12. I didn't really like that. I don't know, she seemed very annoying to me at times and she would just say things that no 19 year old or 20 year old would say or think you know that sort of thing one of the other great books i read recently was called the silence of skezerad i can't really pronounce this but it'll be on the screen okay so this book is set in smyrna it is basically the intertwining fates of four families as their city is ripped apart by the dissolution of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, so it starts out in September of 1905 and the book ends in, I think, I want to say 2000 something. I don't know. I thought it was a very good read. My only issue was that I thought it was very difficult to keep up with the characters. That I would be like, is that the same person or is that person from the same family? So I got confused a lot, I think, with the different point of views, which usually doesn't happen to me. I can usually keep up pretty well with that sort of thing, but the way this was written, it just kind of flipped through point of views so quickly in different times that I just got confused. But other than that, great book. Highly recommend. Five out of five stars. So let's get on with the vlog part of this. So I did my makeup. Um, this is literally the most makeup I've worn in actually forever. I was planning on taking some photos because what else am I going to do for an entire day by myself? I was thinking of putting on a long black dress that I have and then laying on the bed or sitting on the bed, you know? Okay, so here's the dress I'm talking about. I'm literally holding it up right now because if I let go, it's going to go like kind of low. But it is a full length dress. Basically, the reason why I have to hold it up is because it's made out of like this heavy knit material. The straps go like super low. So if I had let go of this, it'd be like down to like right here probably. What I'm going to do is go lay on the bed, try to set up a pose and then see like go from there, I guess. But yeah, you can watch me do that. Also, I am filming. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I actually have a pizza, like a frozen pizza I can make. So I might just do that. Cause I don't really have anything else right now. I need to go to the grocery store. Okay, pan, foil. I'm gonna be making this Amy's spinach pizza. I always get the no cheese pizza, which is really awesome too. Okay, it is the next day. I didn't really film anything at all the rest of the night last night because I did not feel good. I definitely ate something bad. I watched that movie Encanto. Is that how you say it? Encanto? Encanto? Encanto. And it was actually really good. Like, I saw so much hype around it. I was like, I might as well watch this when I have nothing else to do. Yeah, Connor got back, so he really enjoyed the Tetons and I'm really glad it wasn't snowing while he was there. Today, we are gonna go to Denver. We're gonna go to like the REI co-op store, but it looks like it's in an old train station or something. I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. Not to hijack your vlog, but the tea times were really fun. I can't wait to go with her sometime in the spring and when the lake is melted and there's more, the bears are out and more wildlife is out. But back to today, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we were gonna go to the REI and then Connor, he randomly saw this little, like little. some sort of wildlife refuge basically. So we'll probably eat something before we head out and yeah, then we will go. Uh, you'll need some more sugar, yeah. 